So next, let's convert this base 10 number to base 7. So we need to know our powers of 7. So we're going to have 7 to the 0 is 1. Of course, our 1's place, our 7's place. 7 squared is 49's place. 4 cubed is, uh, 400, sorry, 343. To the 4th power is 2401. Now, I'm going to keep going here until I get something that's bigger than the number we're trying to convert. And it looks like I just found it. And so I know that I don't have any of these in my number. And so we're going to start with the highest power of 7 that will divide into, uh, 4509. And that's the 2401. So we'll start out with 4509, divide it by 2401. Uh, and we go ahead and we divide that. And it divides in one time with a remainder of, uh, 2108. So now I'm going to bring down that 2108 and divide it by the next lowest power of 7. So I'm going to divide it by 343. And when I do that, I get, uh, let's see, 6 with a remainder of, of 50. I bring that value down, 50 divided by, uh, next lowest power, 49 is 1 with remainder of 1. So I'll bring that value down, divide it by 7. Now here, 7 doesn't divide into 1 any times, so we're going to get 0 with a remainder of 1. Again, our division here is 7 dividing into 1. That goes in 0 times with a remainder of 1. And then that comes down as our 1's place, right? 1 divided by 1 is 1, uh, is 1 if you prefer. And this gives us our base 7 number. We got 1, 6, 1, 0, 1, base 7. So we got 1, 1, 0, 7's, 149, 6, 343's, and 1, uh, 2401. And so there is our base 7 equivalent number. Now, of course, we could always check our work here by going backwards the other direction and converting this back into a base 10 number. Because we know that this first number is supposed to be a 1's place. This number is supposed to be a 7's place. This number is supposed to be a 7 squared place. This number is supposed to be a 7 cubed place. And this number is in the 7 to the 4th power place. And so if we calculated this out, uh, we could double check that it does, in fact, compute back to the base 10 number, 4509.